some updating on the S14. So I do have a couple of things that I need to do. So I'm just gonna show you guys kind of the process of what is going on right now. So first I do have the Minerva still drying. I was gonna put them together today, but then I forgot that the valve stems didn't come in yet. So I do have them on the way. I guess it's really hard to find 90 degree valve stems in stores because I tried to call all the auto parts stores around me and none of them carry it. So I had to order them online. So these are coming in. And then for right here, I do need to figure out something with the intake. I do have a whole bunch of random parts laying around from like the 350Z. I think we have some XB stuff. And then, I don't know, whatever came with the shell. We have like random pieces here and there. I also picked up this. I also picked up this flexible tubing from AutoZone. And hopefully maybe that can be used somewhere. We're thinking of maybe even putting one of those vent... Um, so I was even thinking of maybe doing one of those headlight vent covers that go over here. But when I was trying to look it up online, they only sell the driver's side. I guess because the SR intake stuff is all on this side, so they don't sell it. Or at least I haven't found one that goes on top that side. So I was thinking of maybe even doing something with this. I used to have these on the car before I changed to the clear ones. So, and I mean, it's already cracked, so it's pretty much done for so I can cut it up if anything. I drew a little template of maybe what could work because I do have this that I could probably use. This came from the 350Z. So maybe I could leave it like this or I could even do hearts or something cool, stars. I'm not too sure yet but that's just an idea right now. And the last thing, which is probably going to be the hardest thing in my opinion, is going to be the exhaust. So I do have the Tundra Sequoia headers on top here that I installed a while back and we ended up cutting it off right there before the drive shaft because when I was trying to pound it in, I kind of pounded it in too much so there wouldn't be good airflow. So we cut it off and we're starting all over again. Uh, trying to find something else that works. I'm not too sure if we're gonna loop it around that side or make it come all the way down this way But we do have some piping that I just got I'm gonna try this out. This is from AutoZone. It's just flexible Exhaust piping I believe it's called So those are the three major things that I need to do on the car is the wheels the intake and the exhaust but for Blaine's car Right here, we do have some parts that Bailey actually bought for Blaine. Uh, so we're going to see how well they fit on top of the car. They're from GK Tech. I do have a whole bunch of other GK Tech stuff that I'm going to install on my car. But we're just going to try these for now. I kind of want to put my wheels on before I install all my GK Tech stuff. So Bailey picked these up for Blaine. They're the GK Tech Ganador style mirrors. Oh. I didn't even know that they come with the blue lenses on it or like a blue tint on it. the driver's side actually looks really good good thing Blaine's car is the missile car so none of the other trim pieces are on <laughs> and then it also has this plate so I I tried to put it on top of the car like this, but I guess I forgot to put this plate on. So I have to attach the plate first and then I can try it on.
know that that was the blue tint? It's not a sticker, yeah? I like the blue tint. What do you think? Yeah, I like it a lot. I don't even know what the real Ganadors look like. Almost like this. I feel like this one is a little slanted up. Oh man, you chucked a fly in my car. <coughs> Do you want to say something real quick? exciting about it? Say something exciting? Give me this. Oh my gosh, this looks so sick! <laughs> and it got the blue. It looks super dope, but I like it a lot. <laughs> they're um, they're cooler than I thought they were gonna be. They are. Yeah. Shout out to Bailey for buying these for me for my birthday. I know. They look like, really good. Like way earlier this year, like five or six months ago. I almost forgot we had these things. You gonna run them? I gotta see what they look like, but yeah, I don't really street drive this car, so it's, I don't really need like big mirrors, but mm -hmm. it's, it's actually bigger than I thought they were going to be. I'm pretty sure Ganadors are a little bit smaller. Ganadors, Ganadors are, a little, are a little bit more like not Flat. slanted, yeah. Yeah. They look really good though. Yeah, like oh yeah, compared to the OEM. Adds a little bit of something. So that's gonna be it for today's video. It's kind of just real simple and short. I do have a lot of stuff that I'm waiting for to come in the mail. So as soon as I get those valve stems in, I can try to put the tires on top of the car and see if we can drive it out of the driveway. So yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and stay good.